What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download Doki Doki on the PS Vita. But before I get to that, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay on the PS Vita so you know more or less what you're getting yourself into. And I've actually played this version of the game more than halfway through. I have it on the 3DS and I have it on PC and it's, it hasn't gave me any problems. A lot of people usually ask whether there's a lot of crashes, if you can delete character files and there's it's a good copy of the game and I really enjoy this copy of the game on the Vita more than I do on the 3DS because the graphics are stunning uh, if you press the circle button you can just auto forward which is basically you don't have to keep pressing the X it's like a book it'll just keep reading it on and on for you uh, right here I'm showing you character files where you're able to delete Monica, Natsuke, Sayori, Yuri or just restore them all uh, whatever you'd like and you can do that at any moment of the game but like I said the game looks absolutely amazing and with the auto forward option it's uh, you can't beat it <laughs> I, I actually play this more on the PS Vita than I do on the 3DS now that we've actually gone through the introduction part of the video I can show you how to download the game itself I'm gonna put a link down in the description below and uh, follow directions you're gonna go version 1.0.4 and you're gonna go to the D DDLC Love Vita VPK the VPK is gonna be what you're gonna put in your SD card so uh, once you download that you're gonna want to find it in your download folder wherever your your files get downloaded to After you're finished downloading the game, you're going to want to go to your PlayStation Vita. You're going to want to open up the Vita shell. And depending where your internal storage is at or your main storage, you're going to want to find that path and connect USB. If you're using a file host, you might want to use that. Okay, so this is actually the fun part. Once you've connected your Vita via USB or file host, whatever you're using, you're going to want to open up the DDL CVPK application from download folder whatever folder you might have it in you're gonna want to transfer it over to your PlayStation Vita if you're using an SD card or internal storage whatever you're using just somewhere where your PlayStation Vita can read it and I believe the application is actually like 150 megabytes so it might take a minute it might take 30 seconds it only took me like 10 seconds once you've done that, you're going to want to go back to your PlayStation Vita. Okay, once you've actually dragged in the file via USB or File Host Manager, you're going to want to exit out uh, from the PlayStation Vita and go back to this menu on the Vita shell. You're going to want to find the file we just downloaded. It's going to be DDLC Love Vita VPK going back it's going to be under the data folder for me depending whatever folder you put it in that's where you're going to find it you're going to want to click X on it do you want to install this package yes uh, I think this video cut out because I already have it installed but once installed it's going to take maybe a couple minutes it's a pretty big package and you're going to want to go back to your home menu it's going to be there well it's the best version best handheld version might I say that I've come across and it's like I said absolutely stunning enjoy guys and if you want to see more videos like this like subscribe leave a comment I'd be more than happy to upload some more